Dave Brown here with Drum Magazine. I'm at the 2015 Winter Nam Show. And I'm here with Mike Nealon of Gretsch Drums. Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with uh, Gretsch in 2015? Lots. Lots. Oh, Lots. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the USA kits. These are the three kits that, were, that are from our USA factory in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Starting off with the Brooklyn kit. Brooklyn kit is a six ply maple poplar kit combination. Similar in layup to the USA custom, but with a different wood. Sonically, if you took two of the, two of the classic 70s tones of drums and merged them into one, you come up with this kit. Very recording friendly, uh, really easy on microphones, great low and great crack to the shells. Some of the features, as I said, there are six ply maple poplar combination. The uh, starting with the, the hoops, these are called our 302 hoops. This is a, a redo of the old double flange stick chopper hoops from back in the day, but what we've done is we've rounded over the top and we've also made these three millimeter stick, which is the same thickness as a die cast hoop. What you get out of this is you get the snap and you get the pop of, the, of a die cast hoop, yeah. but since they're not as heavy and they're not as rigid, it allows the drum to open up and breathe a little bit more. Right. Now, um, you said that this is a six ply poplar maple mix, is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Like half and half, or? It's alternating, it's, yeah, there's, there's so many that, so many that, so many Okay, that. okay. Um, another thing with the hoops is, for, from a playing standpoint, die-cast hoops sonically are great, but after playing long hours on them, they do tend to be a little less forgiving on your wrists and all that, so yeah. we don't have the problem with these. Um, silver sealer on the inside. All the other Gretchen amenities on the outside, the, the finish is hand done nitrocellulose lacquer. This is in a satin finish, but we're still one we're still probably the only, maybe the only company that's still doing nitrocellulose on our kits. The advantage to that is now what what is that again? Nitrocellulose lacquer. Okay. And what it is, I'm not familiar with that, believe it or not. It's a it's a it's a, it's a lacquer they've primarily used on guitars, and what it does is it bonds with the wood, it becomes part of the wood. So as the wood ages and the drum expands, because all drums do do that. The lacquer also expands with the kit. When you get a poly, poly can, poly can sometimes, it doesn't, it, it's a preference thing, obviously. Yeah. But this becomes part of the wood. So, finish wise and sonic wise, your, the sound of your kit will evolve over over time and it'll, it'll change and, and get warmer and creamier and fluffier and all the good stuff. The older that, it is, kind of like. Exactly. I, I feel that way about the cymbals too, the older they get, oh, it yeah. ages them. And the, less, and the less clean they are too. Yeah. 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 But it's available in, a, in a, a number of different sizes and configurations. Um, it comes out of our U.S. factory again, so it's really easy to get add-ons for it. Um, what, right, 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 what's a standard kit. configuration that it comes standard with? Standard configuration, this is obviously one of them, 8x12, 16x16 with a 14x22. But we do a full range of sizes. We'll do, there's, you can you can add you know, 10s, 13s, 14s, 18s. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a kind of an a la carte kind of thing, but you can do, there obviously there are shell packs too. Now, I played this earlier, I was having a lot of fun. Yep. Um, I I, had, I wouldn't have guessed it was a poplar kit. I mean, it, it, it sounds it's like a maple blend. to me. It's a blend. Yeah. So it's a really good sound. What's the price point for something like this? A kit like this is going to sit about, at about mm, $24, $25 yeah. with this kind of configuration. Um, you know, orderable, you know, with, a, with our normal lead time on it. Right. Which, yeah. is, which is even... Quicker now. Quicker now. Yeah, it's a bright, happy world. You know. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. Show you guys what it sounds like.
<laughs> I'm zoning out. <laughs> All right, we're over here at the Gretsch uh, Renown. Is that correct? It's the new, the new Renown Walnut Kit. Nice walnut. All walnut. Yeah, the Renown, our Renown line has been. We've had that now for for about ten years, and it's always primarily been an all maple kit. Right. Um, it's our one of our top selling lines. It's the, it's the most accessible kit we have. Um, and what we wanted to do this year is we wanted to expand the sonic palette of the, of the line and give it a give it more of a complete offering. So, excuse me, as I said, six ply walnut shells. This kit's shown as a 7x10, 8x12, 14x16, 5.5x14 snare, 18x22 kick. Um, nice. Sonically, what walnut does is it's a, it's a maple kit with the bass turned all the way up. These are great <laughs> for stick articulation. If you're, if, you're, like if, if you're a drummer who, um, if you like do a lot of stick groupings and a lot of real fast kind of stick, right. you know, these are great because it, it accentuates every single stick note that you do, and you don't, you know, it, they're, it's a very um, the the mid is kind of scooped in these kind of right. these kind of shells, but great for pop, gospel, R and B, um, you know, where that kind of thicker, wetter just, sound is more a little more prevalent. Chest thumping bass. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I it, this kit, this is this kit in particular. It was like you know we went through at the beginning of the show and tuned all these kits, and this kit was I tuned this kit in probably. Less than five minutes because wow. it just it was just bare. The toms sing, um, you know, and, and, and you know, for me it was like it was a new kind of thing with walnut with walnut kits, and it was like kind of I had to a learning curve on it a little yeah. bit, which is where I kind of figured out this the whole stick articulation thing. It was like you can really hear what you're what you're popping on that thing. A lot of dynamics, articulation. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just I'm not gonna play uh, no, like I did, uh, but I will just do a sound test. Sure. Yeah, the kick drum's ruling. That bass drum. Nice. You can feel the, literally, mm -hmm. I'm just saying it, you can literally feel the floor move right. when you hit it, yeah. But there's two different colors we're doing. This is obviously a gloss natural. There's also a, um, a natural to black fade. That's a really, really good looking kit. And it's just a way for, it's another way for drummers to expand their vocabulary. You know, the best thing about drums is they're like shoes and you can never just have one. You know, different drums. You gotta have a bunch of different shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, especially snare drums. Yes. Um, so yeah, these will be uh, these will be shipping uh, later this year, and there will also be a renowned birch kit too. That's nice. Weekend. It's on our website right now. What we wanted to do with that kit was we wanted to kind of put some emphasis back on a higher end birch kit. Mm -hmm. A lot of the birch kits now have dropped at, a, at, a, at their lower price points, and they sound great. But we wanted to have the Gretchen. We haven't we hadn't done a birch kit in a while. Right. Certainly not in renown. Um, but we wanted to add it with add our features to it. So that, again, it's a 30 degree round over edge. It's the five lug pattern on the toms, which is unique to Gretsch. And a lot of people, and it's funny, I'll touch on that one for a second. A lot of people uh, really don't know what the five lug thing is about. And what the concept of it is, think of it like if you connected all those points on the drum, right? You're left with a spot in the middle, which on a good day, that's where we try to hit the drum is, you know, that's yeah. the, tone, the tone center of the drum. And with a five lug pattern, you get a bigger sweet spot in the middle of the drums. And he's talking about on the uh, the high the tom. The lug patterns, yeah, on the, 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 the 10, 12s, that, that sort of thing, eights. Mm -hmm. um, smaller toms. So you'll notice when you're playing, Gretsch, when you're playing these toms, the toms do, they have a little more give to them. You feel the sticks sink into them a little bit more, yeah. just because it's not all that tension in the middle of the head. Right. So, um, so yeah, this and, and the birch kit will be coming mid-year. Now, you can get the renowned in maple. Uh, Absolutely. As well. No, yeah, okay. that's still the same as it ever was. This is the walnut, same as it ever was. Same as it ever was. <laughs> so this, is, yeah. this is the walnut, you can get it in birch soon, mm -hmm. and uh, this is, uh, and they have the maple. So within this one line, your whole, you're covered. Yep. You know. What's the price point on this kit? This kit, this kit as it sits, is so going to be looking right at just under 2500 bucks. Just under 2500 Excellent. Yeah. Well, you want to show me what else you have? So let's talk, let's talk USA Custom. Okay, USA Custom, um, you know, this is the basis of the Gretsch sound. This is this is the great Gretsch sound. Uh, six ply maple gum shells, silver sealer on the interiors, five lug pattern die cast hoops. This is the kit that's been around for, for years. This is the kit that's in every studio who's worth its salt. This is the kit that when guys are recording, regardless of who they might use other words, you know, other yeah, words, yeah. other ways, they're all playing these in the studio. This is the definitive. This is studio the classic sound. Gretsch. 
It doesn't get any doesn't get any more classic than this. And especially now, and we're really excited about it because it's you know with, with, with our new with our new family that we're in. This is just going to be even brought more to the forefront, and more people are going to get to experience how great these drums sound. It's a personal sound. It's a sound that you know you, you can you can make it your own so easily. Just you know, it's, it's just, they just feel great. Right. And now that you mentioned the new family, uh, DW, uh, what going forward, uh, you know, what are your plans on Brett's designs? The Lombardis and John Good and all this, and all that family, is they're drummers, and they yeah. certainly know what a Gretsch kid is, and they're they're, they're fans of the brand. Yeah. You know, they all grew up. Everybody growing up, they had they had access to one. They probably you know owned two or three of them themselves. Right. So what's going to be great is is the support and the enthusiasm of, of of all those guys, which is great for us because we've always been. It just it's more people that are excited about the brand. When you're dealing with a brand like this, it is about passion. Yeah. And it's about you know the love you have for the instrument. It's wake up in the morning and you're thinking, I see all you want to do is play those drums. And Gretsch is a brand that uh, has those passionate followers. I mean, you die-hard Gretsch fans. Which is exactly yeah. why we're not going to mess with it. Yeah, right. The drums, the USA drums, are still going to be made in Ridgeland, South Carolina. Same staff, same machinery, same. Same, you know, it's, it's not being messed with. If anything, it'll be a more streamlined process, and it'll be, you know, it's, we, we want to make it. We want to make if anything, if we're going to do anything to it, we're going to make it more Gretsch than it ever was. Nice. And that's I bet the intent. A lot of people will be happy to hear that. It's a lot of people. It's not like yeah, a lot of people talking about it. It's made for some interesting reading on the, uh, the yeah. forums. All right, what else new with uh, Gretsch in 2015? Let's go over and look at the broadcaster kit over here. All right, we're over here at the Gretsch broadcaster kit. What can you tell us about this? It's a brand new kit. We're we're stoked about this kit. Whereas you know we talked about the USA custom and that being the basis of the Gretsch sound, this goes even farther back into Gretsch's history. This is these drums are, were made reminiscent of the style in which the drums were made from 1920 to 1950. Uh, it's a three ply shell, which a lot of people want for the three ply shell to come back. And we had to, we wanted it to do, but it was a, it was a matter of making it um, playable and, and durable enough because you know, this. People with the demands of drummers now, you know, we hit. And the big sticks. The big sticks and the big digital PAs and, you know, yeah. it's, it's, so what we wanted is we wanted a drum kit that, that was very reminiscent of that tone, but in a modern context. Now it's three plies, uh, doesn't necessarily mean it's thin, but it is a really thin shell. It's a thinner shell, yeah, yeah. I can, I can flip one over here to show it to you. So obviously yeah. the interior here with the silver sealer. Okay, so it's a three ply maple poplar maple shell with a reverse round over edge. Okay, these are the edges that we used to do back, way, way back in the day. And it's a completely different take on a, on a bearing edge. But sonically, sonically it's very unique. And it, what it does is it puts that much more shell in contact with the head. So you tend to get, it brings out the mids and it brings out these, if, if, if I would have had to describe them in one word, it'd be tubs. Yeah. These are, these are, this, this is that thumpy, tub, tubby well, sound that just... Earlier, you, you said it was a, a 35, a rounded... Um... It's a 30, de well, the, the standard edge is a 30 degree round over. Yeah. This is a round, it's this, when you get into the reverse side of it, it's not necessarily, it's, it's more similar to a bass drum. Loop. Yeah. Okay? But it's, um, but it is the reverse edge, and it's just a, it's unique, it's unique to this series. It's available in, uh, in a number of different configurations. Ten different configurations, and it comes with a muffler. Double mufflers, yep. Very, very Both great sides. Things. Ten different configurations, and the, the biggest, the, the coolest thing about it is you can choose. Uh, you can choose either a vintage or a standard hardware configuration. The vintage hardware is going to hark is going to harken back to things like the gold wing bass drum spurs, vintage rail mount, rail consolette mount on the toms. Tone knobs on the inside. This is the old school felt muffler on the front head where this controls it and the felt runs down. You can probably see the silhouette of it in here. Just very unique Gretsch features. Um, configurations to start, to start off with 18 inch, you know, 12, 14, 18 inch bop kits. Yeah. 20 inch bass drums, 22s. My particular favorite is the 24s. Big there's, kick. A, there's a 14, there's a, there's a configuration we do. It's a 9x13, 16, 16 with a 14 by 24 kick. That that drum kit is the most remarkable thing I've heard in yeah. years. It just it it's it sound is all there. You don't have to do anything to it. It's, it would be perfect for a recording scenario because you just throw it up and play it. Now what what genre uh, would they fit? It seems like maybe jazz, bebop kind of stuff. Um, modern country. 
Modern country. I would definitely say modern because the, the Nashville sound, and that's what, the, that's what the, those, those guys are using. They're using big drums, one up, one down, you know, a couple big, huge, you know, multi purpose crash, crash ride kind of cymbals. Yeah. And to, for that sound, that's these drums are made for that sound. Excellent. That's what all those guys are trying to make those kids sound like, and we just did it all in one shot. It was, it was great. <laughs> But yeah, broadcasters, we're really happy to have these drums at the show and to bring them back to the to the public and you know go to your dealer and check them out. You'll, you'll be you'll, it'll blow you away how cool these drums Excellent. are. Excellent. Thanks, Mike, for showing us around the Gretsch booth. My pleasure. Go to Gretsch. What is it? Gretschdrums.com. Gretschdrums.com, and don't forget to visit drummagazine.com. Keep drumming.